Okay, we're going to go over Soil EC, uh, the Soil Quality Educator Guide, quickly. And the first part of the guide goes over what EC is, and it's simply a measure of salts, soluble salts such as nitrates, uh, sulfate, ammonia, etc. Also, there's a section in there that goes over inherent factors, things such as the parent materials for soils, because salts originate, can originate from uh, weathering of rocks. Uh, also, areas that are arid, less rainfall are going to be uh, naturally higher in e or EC. Areas where water concentrates, uh, areas with restrictive layers where we can't move the water through the soils. Uh, also, it talks a little bit about salinity management, irrigation, uh, proper fertilization, all of those types of things so you can use to manage EC. So that's important to go over with your students. Talks about some of the problems with soil function. Uh, such as nutrient cycling and uptake and that's the main reason that's so important to take uh, EC because even low levels of, of EC can impact our, our especially vegetables and especially crops at, at uh, <clears throat> beginning stages of crop development. Uh, the next section of the book has three tables that's important to go over with your students. Uh, once we do the test so they understand what it means. The first one goes over ver very important soil processes uh, dealing with uh, nutrient cycles for example, dealing with decomposition, respiration, a loss of nitrogen gas which is important uh, under saturated conditions and the, the level of EC that can impact that. Uh, and then next it has both the EC one-to-one, -one, which we're doing, going to be doing a one-to-one, -one, one part water, one part soil test. You need to know your texture or your soil, so make sure the students identify the texture before you move forward. At the bottom of that table too is all, all textures, uh, which is the, the, the lab method. If you send it in a lab, they, it's texture neutral versus the one-to-one, -one, we need to know the texture. And lastly, we have the crops. Uh, that and their different levels from the most tolerant barley to the least tolerant that's green beans. Uh, some discussion questions with your students and then what's needed and what we all have here. So we have the the soil probe, the scoop, the squirt bottle, the distilled rainwater, all the materials that you need will be showing you in, in the test itself.